What are we doing today? What are Actually, next few days. Um, Paint out a car. What? Yeah, another what? project, right? You're thinking to yourself, you went and got another project. What, what is we're wrong with you? That car. Yes, we are painting for a friend of ours. Teenage girl, fresh, uh, freshly got her license, and um, has this beautiful 2001 Honda Accord that needs to be slightly freshened up for on the cheap budget paint job. So we're going to try to get this on video. It's not going to be perfect. Okay, so that's what we're going to try to do. Okay, I want some the candy. All right, here's what we're looking like. 2001 Honda Accord. Fairly decent shape for the year. Um, it has one major flaw dent wise. We're going to try to pull this out. Either push it out from the inside or pull it out. I've got a suction cup thing I may try. I don't know if it'll work or not. Right here. At that little bit we're gonna try to straighten that out as much we're not gonna do any bondo on this car no body work no body filler no rock chip repair etc etc this is bare bones basic scuff and paint and the majority of it is the clear coat peeling off so I'm not gonna sand down to hey you want to zip it? Get your foot off there. I'm not going to bare metal. I just want to get down to the original base coat, sand it up, get this peel off. Like I said, this is easily done labor-wise as possible and cheaply done as possible, yet still looking good. Another thing I want to look at, they talked about possibly buying a new bumper. Um, but for now, we're just going to try to trim up this one here. Get rid of all the bad stuff, kind of cut this out smooth, cut all that loose stuff off, make it look as good as we can before we paint it, because I don't think they'll get us a bumper before we paint it, so. And we are going to be out here painting it in the dirt. No garage, no concrete floor, in the dirt. Here is what we are going to be using. All right, I picked this paint out from Summit Racing Equipment. Single stage acrylic urethane paint. That means I don't have to do a clear coat over it. It's a single one time spray. Here's our activator. Slow high temp, got some masking tape I picked up at Lowe's. I got some masking tape I picked up at Lowe's. Should I say paper? I got this plastic adhesion promoter. You spray this on the bumper and the plastic trim pieces and that will make the paint stick to it better. Pick this up at Harbor Freight. Merlin inline desiccant dryer filter that keeps the moisture out of your gun. Uh, keeps the water out of your paint. I picked up these gloves at Harbor Freight. Some cheap old gloves. Picked up this sandpaper at Harbor Freight. 320 grit. I was looking for 400 grit. Uh, but this will work. 320 grit is fine. The paint will stick to it. There's 
pack of 50. Hopefully that will do the entire car. Uh, I picked this up at Harbor Freight, Central Dramatic HVLP spray gun. Got it for like 15 bucks. As cheap as this gun is, it's a one and done for me. I probably yeah. won't even take the time to clean it up. Some mixed cups. Yeah. Got this here yeah. abrasive ball, yeah. 400 grit. That one. What? Cheese ball face. Yeah. Hey. What? I have a shadow day. Yeah, there's your shadow. That will be for getting in tight corners, etc., etc. What are we going to be using compressor wise? This here is a Harbor Freight air compressor, which I got for free from a friend of mine. Who I guess upgraded to something bigger, no longer needed it. It's a central pneumatic 2.5 horsepower, 21 gallon, 21 gallons, 125 max psi. Painting a car, preferably you would want a larger air compressor. Sanding a car, you would preferably want a larger compressor. This is what we're got. This is what we're going to make do with. Uh, it'll probably take a little while longer. I'm going to have to let this thing, I don't want it to run non -cont uh, full continuous for the entire project, so I'll probably give it a break here or there. Uh, but if you were on a budget doing this, you might have to have something like this, okay? All right, as stated before, we're going to try to make this as labor easily. What do I want to say? I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. YouTube. Less strenuous as possible. So that involves masking. We're going to have to mask windows, etc., etc. If I can easily pull these lenses out, I will probably pull the lenses out. Otherwise, I'll have to mask over those. Gonna have to try to pull that emblem off without ruining it. But uh, we're taking the easiest way possible. And I think the easiest way possible, so I don't have to do a bunch of masking, is to pull those lenses out if easily doable. I'm not sure how visible this is on the camera with the lighting we have. The sun and the shadows, etc., etc. All you have here is a Bondo brand suction cup thingamajigger. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is gonna get what I want, but it doesn't hurt trying. Yeah, it's not even. I may have to clean this up first. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work on this particular. If it was smaller, it'd probably be good. What I'm probably gonna have to do is take the panel off and bend these out from the out from the inside out.
So it's sanding time. I mean, sanding. This is the next day. I already sanded a bunch yesterday. Uh, let's see here. Central pneumatic. That uh, 21 gallon air compressor. It's barely keeping up with the uh, amount of sanding I'm having to do. It's constantly running. I have to let it build up. So it's not the best compressor for sanding a car. Okay, but it's what we got. In fact, what I ended up doing, those 320 grit pads, uh, they're not bad pads. They're good for final, final sand, all right? What I ended up doing is I already had this uh, Black & Decker square electric sander. And I already had some 120 grit pads. So I ended up doing the whole car with this first. Uh, without the compressor, uh, this kept up pretty good. Didn't have any problems. Knocked the clear coat, loose clear coat off immediately. Uh, so we did the whole car with this first. Um, probably could have got some coarser Harbor Freight sandpaper. Would have done fine. Pads themselves are sticking great. Uh, some of them cheap pads, they'll fly right off your sander. They don't, they don't stick worth poop. But those pads are sticking pretty good. Like I said, I'm coming back, smoothing out with the 320 grit all over. Uh, I actually like a coarser grit for a project like this, just to ensure that this budget paint is going to stick to this car. So we got to finish this, go over the whole car with this 320, finish it out. Um, I'll be right back. All right, this 400 grit ball, you hook it up to your drill. This thing is pretty cool, I like this. Um, this here gets you into these tight spots, like where our lenses were and here in these grooves. Works well in these corners. This here, it's not gonna do that great right there. I went ahead and started it with this. But then I came back with this 400 grit ball and got in this little crease here. Does good underneath here. Used it on the door handles. Gets in these little wedges good. Used it on here. Use it on this trim. This place is where that flat surface doesn't get really get in really tight. So this I'm pretty impressed with this little ball here. I think it was like eight, nine bucks. Uh, I should be able to do the whole car, everything I need uh, with this ball, one single use ball. So I'm pretty impressed with that. That's pretty nice. Anyway, we're gonna continue sanding. Today I'd like to get all sanded probably come in here with the hose knock all this loose loose dust off with the water hose first off spray it with the air hose and then come back in uh, close up area anywhere where it might get water in here close that up wash it off with the rag get all that loose dust off and then uh, either this evening or tomorrow morning I'll come in and mask everything off and then we'll degrease the whole car and be ready to spray this right here is a hard boring uh, not likable part of spraying a car
All right, we're fixing to shoot. Got her masked up. That was a pain in the butt. Got some crappy tape. The tape's coming off. So I want to shoot this before it all comes off. Um, then I came back and waxed and degreased it. I'm gonna head and put adhesion promoter on all the plastic trim on the rear bumper. Now on the front bumper, so we are ready to shoot. Ready as we'll ever be. Once again, what are we working with? We got Summit brand urethane activator, slow high temp. It is warm out here today, close to 80, but it feels super hot. And we've got Single stage acrylic urethane paint by Summit Racing Equipment. Got a whole gallon of it. They do sell it in quarts, but at the uh, long run, it's cheaper just to get the gallon. I may have a lot left over, but we'll see. Here is the color dark jade metallic. I couldn't find a lot of uh, pictures of this on the internet, so now we have another, another reference of what it will look like when it's done dark jade metallic it's kind of hard to tell in the can so we are going to get this mixed up a little bit more and go ahead and shoot well here goes everything see if all the hard work paid off See if this air compressor can keep up. Make sure I don't do anything stupid.
right, folks. Today is the last day. Today is Saturday. I actually got started on this Tuesday. Worked good on it Tuesday. Sanding, taking off car parts. Started sanding Wednesday. Finished sanding. Um, okay, yeah. And then I think Thursday. Hang on, scratch that. No, started started on this project on a Wednesday, I think. It could have been Tuesday, who knows. So it basically took two days to for me to tear the car apart, take lights out, um, mirrors off, wheels off, emblem off, etc., etc., and start sanding it. And then it took another day sanding it. Okay. Then, then we, uh, one of those days, the night before, I tried to mask it off with masking tape. Masking tape was terrible. I bought some cheap old masking tape or something, and it came right off. The next morning, I, came, I, I was like, okay, I'm going to mask this tonight, and it'll be mostly done for the, in the morning. Come out here the day that I was going to shoot it, which I shot it on Thursday. Masking tape's all peeled off. Piece of junk. Had to remask it. Stephanie helped me remask it. Okay. Uh, so I remasked it, came through, cleaned it up with degreaser, which was actually I just used rubbing alcohol. That's what I had on hand. That just gets all the oily fingerprints, any of that off. Did that Thursday around 2 ish in the afternoon, 80 degrees. Four to five miles of per hour wind, we sprayed it. I got probably at least four coats on, maybe five. So Friday, I did a little bit of reassembling, lenses, wheels, etc. But I had to work. So here we are Saturday morning, finishing it up. Uh, Saturday, I was having sleep insomnia. So I actually got up at two o'clock in the morning. Uh, just a bunch on my mind. One was getting this done. And then uh, Stephanie totaled her, well, we're assuming more than likely, totaled her van yesterday while I was at work. So that's always a nice feeling. Uh, you got a family of four kids and you gotta have something to haul them around in. So we're gonna figure that out, but I'll show you some pictures of the van. So needless to say, about 2 o'clock in the morning, I was like, ah, I can't sleep. I got to go do something. So I came out here with the flashlight, slapped the front bumper on, and uh, went to Walmart at 6.30 this morning to get wet sandpaper, 1,500 grit. This is 1,500 grit sandpaper, wet sandpaper. Uh, I already did most of the car. I just got to do this side here. And what that is, does is... Get rid of all the dirt, specks, the bugs, etc., etc. I had a bunch of overspray on the top of the uh, trunk, the hood, and the top. That got rid of that. So a lot of li little imperfections. This will get out. Um, if they want to come back later and buff it later, that'll make it even nicer. But I'm not going to buff it. I don't do buffing. So 1500 grit wet sandpaper. We'll clean it up, clean the water, uh, wash the mud off the rims, clean the glass up, give her a bath, and we'll come back and give a overview shot. A little soapy water. I think I already did this fender. I already skipped to the door. And I'm not doing all the way to the bottom. I'm just doing the top part because I'm lazy. Using circular motions just to get that debris out of the paint. Like I said, the sides weren't that bad. That will hit them anyway. 
you can basically fill all those little dirt specks with your hand. this project completed okay let me give you a breakdown on the numbers for a budget single stage paint job money wise so from summit racing they bought the product so I'm just estimating here it's not gonna be exact should be pretty close uh, total from summit racing I came up with estimated total $147.60. What did that include? That included the adhesion promoter, duplicolor. That was for spraying the bumpers and all the plastic trim. That was $16. The paint, for a gallon of paint, we bought a gallon, was $83.99 for a gallon of Summit Racing single stage paint dark jade metallic now that has to have an activator and that was $31.99 then I bought three mix cups that were two dollars each I should have been smarter on that I should have went ahead and doubled that I should have got six because I needed more than three I don't know why I thought I maybe I thought I could clean the, the three out but it didn't work out that well I should have got six so that's from Summit Racing. Then on top of that, I spent about $17 at 14 to $17 for this gun from Harbor Freight. Good deal. This gun did extremely well for this budget paint job. $15 spray gun did this single stage paint gun. If you were spraying an expensive hot rod, you know, house of color paint, expensive paint, you'd probably want something fancier. And you probably wouldn't do it out in the dirt, in the backwoods, where there's bugs, okay? But I already had the regulator, so I'm not gonna add that in. Then this uh, water separator, water dryer, was another eight bucks. That just keeps the moisture out of your, uh, getting in your paint. Uh, it did its job. Of course, I'm not gonna gonna add gloves, tape, paper. I'm not gonna put that in there. You'll have to figure that out on your own. But uh, I think for what the price was, it came out pretty good. It's not super glossy. I actually like it where it's kind of a satin look. Uh, you can clear coat over this if you want to spend the extra money. For the extra clear coat. Alright, but uh, 
that's what we have. Hopefully the clientele is happy with it. They're supposed to pick it up today. So we wrapped it up, got it all back together. Uh, it was a job. It's been a while since I painted a car. Been uh, 11 and a half years since I painted my first car somewhat professionally. I'm not going to say professionally. I'm going to say with quality materials, with automotive paint. I'll throw some pictures up here so you can see that. That was the first car I've done. This is the second car 12 years later. I've done some cars with rattle cans, but that doesn't count. So. We're gonna wrap it up and give you a view of the car. Uh, like I said, we trimmed up this bumper the best we could, as tore up as it was road rash wise. We got that cleaned up, kind of straightened out, cut out, cut all the bad out. In fact, that's what we cut off. Thanks for watching. If you're looking to do a budget paint job, check out Summit Racing Paint, Harbor Freight Tools.